Hi everybody, welcome back to Storytime with Grandma Kate. We're gonna do story number two from Aesop's Fables. And this is one of my very favorite ones. It's called the hare and the tortoise. A hare is uh, another word for a, a rabbit. It's a kind of rabbit with long ears. Um, do you know how rabbits or hares move? They go really fast, hop, 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 hop. And how does the tortoise move? Very slowly. So this is a story about a race that a rabbit and, or a hare and a tortoise have. It says, a hare was making fun of the tortoise one day for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere, he asked with a mocking laugh. That means he was making fun of him like, <laughs> like that. Yes, replied the tortoise, and I get there sooner than you think. I'll run you a race and prove it. The hare was much amused at the idea of running a race with a tortoise, but for the fun of the thing, he agreed. So the fox, who had consented to act as judge, marked the distance and started the runners off. The hare was soon far out of sight, and to make the tortoise feel deep, very deeply how ridiculous it was for him to try to run a race with a hare, he lay down beside the course to take a nap until the tortoise would catch up. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept going slowly but steadily, and after a time passed the place where the hare was sleeping. But the hare slept on peacefully, and when at last he did wake up, the tortoise was near the goal. The hare now ran his swiftest, but he could not overtake the tortoise in time. There's the picture, of course, the tortoise won the race. And the lesson says, the race is not always to the swift. Swift means fast. So what that means is that going super fast does not always mean it's the best thing to do. Uh, what's the cliche that I learned as a kid? Slow and steady wins the race, just like the tortoise. And so when we do things quickly, that's not always best. And in this time, in this climate where we're living right now, we have to take things one day at a time. The slow pace of trying to get through life these days can be hard, but it's the surest way to get us through. To hurry up and try to do things quickly or to get through things quickly may not always be the best choice right now. But really the proof is in the pudding. That's another cliche. That means the proof is in what you see. So have a great day. I hope you uh, are more like the tortoise today, taking things slow and steady. So until I see you next time, have a great one.